this morning, um, had a couple hiccups this morning, but God is good, good morning, good morning, love you, love you all, all right, hallelujah, hallelujah, but God is good, ah, Jesus, hallelujah, let me get my shares out. bless you all. Hallelujah. Let's make sure we like and share. Um, let's make sure we like and share the video. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for you being on the line this morning. Welcome to another session of Inspire AM. Uh, I'm your host and teacher and friend, Keith Morris, and we thank God for you being with us. We're certainly excited, excited for this day as we are every day. Hey, nephew, what's going on, Sean? Uh, we praise God for all of you who are on the line. Uh, we're getting ready um, for a great time with our families um, we're getting ready to have a great day today. Uh, we got some rain falling and and uh, and refreshing the earth. You know, rain is necessary, and that's one of the things you need to understand is that even rain is not. If every season in your life was sunshine, you wouldn't be able to handle it. I promise you. Um, 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 try living in a place like Alaska where you have six months of daylight or sunshine and six months of darkness. Um, any extreme can be dangerous. Um, even even faith and religion, not relationship, but even faith and religion in extremes, in ex at the extremities, can be dangerous. So watch this. I want to I want to you today and lift you today and bless you today. Thanks to all of our callers who are on the line, um, all of our mothers who are on the line, and the people who dial in uh, through the through the impact line. Uh, for our conference call. So listen, we praise God for you. And um, again, um, um, I want to go back to talking about the promises of God. And I want to take an approach today in reference to this, this Thanksgiving uh, holiday that we're about to celebrate. Um, you know, and there's there's controversy around Thanksgiving. You know, you know this. You, do you know that because of the spirit of offense, there's controversy around everything that exists. Um, you're never going to find anything that is without without complaint or someone criticizing it. But I want to encourage you today to find joy in your own heart. 
to find your own joy. Listen, that there's there you you've got enough to be sad about. You have en enough things to be upset about. And and I want to encourage you today to find the place of thanksgiving. You know, a lot of times we 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 will miss everything that God is doing for giving the enemy so much credit. And I want to go back to the word that we talked about yesterday um, because you got to understand that there's a glory coming, but there is a sacrifice for that glory. Amen. We, we were in 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Um, we looked at verses um, verses uh, 15 through 24. 15 through 24 is where we were. And we looked at how that God is working things for his glory. He's working things for his glory. Um, and, and, and what we have to understand is that um, I was ministering with a young sister uh, that works with me at the job. And, and, and one of the things that she pointed out from the broadcast yesterday um, was that it was amazing to know that that crucifixion and glory could be in the same space. Yes, crucifixion and glory can be in the same place. And what I want, what I want you to do today is I want you to understand that sometimes it gets tough. Sometimes um, it gets real difficult. But guess what? Through praise and thanksgiving and a proper perspective, you've got to understand that you can stand through any storm. Because of the Christ in you, watch this, he's a storm chaser. He, he, he's a storm dispenser. He, he, can, he can, listen, when the disciples were on the, on the, on the lake and the storm rose, and the boat began to rock and things got crazy. They, they went to Jesus and said, said, Master, care you not that we perish? Don't you care that we're in a dangerous situation and we may die? And he says to, he says to them, <laughs> he says, oh, ye of little faith. He says, watch this. He says, you got to learn how to trust me in every circumstance of life. And so I'm, I want to encourage you today to find a way to give God thanksgiving. Listen, my leg may be hurting, but I still have my leg. Mm, watch this. Uh, um, my, my children may be acting a nut, but I still, but you gave me these children. We, we got to find a way to give God thanksgiving, knowing fully, watch this, that his promise is. And we pointed out to you yesterday that all the promises of God in him are yea and amen. They are yea and amen. And so he has, he has guaranteed us that everything he said to us is going to be great and grand and according to his glory. Now, here's the challenge. What do I do when I don't feel like it? Ah, Jesus. What do I do when I cannot sense in my soul, watch this, that, 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 that everything is going to be all right? What, what do I do in situations like that? I want to tell you this. I want you to find a way to give God thanksgiving. Watch this. Watch this. Your perspective in life and what you focus on, what you give attention to, watch this. It, 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 will, it will be magnified in your life. I want to turn to a familiar passage. Watch this. I want to, I want to turn to... A familiar passage, and I want to challenge your thinking on this. I want to turn to Psalm 100, verses 1 through 5. Because what I want to say to you is, watch this, and I'm going to mess with you a little bit. In this month of Heshvan, in this month where your spiritual maturity is so very important, you're going to be facing decisions. You're going to be dealing with some things that are going to be challenging to you. But I'm telling you, find a way to praise. Find a way to for Thanksgiving. Now, let me give you, and I want to deal with this. I want to give you some um, permanent dwellings that need permanent praise. Psalms 100, verse 1 through 5. I want to read this for a second, and I want to I want to challenge you on how we apply this to our lives. Now, watch this. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence, first thing I want to stress, his presence with singing. 
Watch this. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence. Watch this. And I'm going to give you a couple of permanent dwellings I want you to deal with in the earth. Watch this. Know ye that the Lord, he is good. It is he that hath made us. Watch this. And not we ourselves. Watch this. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Now watch this. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Watch this. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Now I want to challenge you with a question right here. What does this have to do with church? Because we have misapplied this scripture and so locked it in to where the people only learn how to praise God and give thanks to God when they come to general assembly. But can I tell you that you are a praise box all by yourself? Can I tell you that you are worship all by yourself? Can I tell you <coughs> that you are glory all by yourself? Listen, we, we use this in church as an exhortation. I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not knocking that. But what I'm saying is there are some permanent, there, there are some positional dwellings in the earth. That we got to recognize. The first thing I want to point out to you. Is the, 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 the psalm says make a joy for us. So he's giving us praise. He said everything ought to praise God. Serve the Lord with gladness. But he says come before his presence. We treat his presence. Like the only place it is. Is at 124 Mender Parkway. For, for those who don't know that. That's where we have church impact. That's where we worship. That's where Lighthouse worships. But can I tell you this. When you understand what presence truly is. Mm, it comes from the word parnim. What parnim means is his face. Now let me ask you this question. Is God's face limited to your Sunday morning experience? Mm. Is God's face limited to your church location? No, 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 no. Watch this. He says this in Psalm 66. He says, the heavens are my throne and the earth in my foot is my footstool. Who can build a house for me to dwell in? Watch this. He says, I am bigger, more, more, more magnanimous, more, more fantastic than anything the earth could ever fathom. He says that the earth is his footstool. So watch this. If the earth is his footstool, that means literally if God was in a seated position, that he could prop his feet up on the earth. He going to kick back and watch time, watch eternity. He going to use the, he going to use the earth. Watch this as, as, as his, as his, um, as his ottoman. <laughs> and then what they call that little footstool? As his ottoman. He, 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 he says the earth is so minute and so small to him in his existence. So let me ask you this question. If he's that big, when do you ever escape his face? Listen, he, listen, you, when we talk about coming into his presence, which means his face, we, we are in his presence, can I say this to you, all the time. On your job, presence. In your home, presence. In, in, listen, in your good and in your bad, presence. In your positive and your negative, presence. But what I want to help you see is, watch this. He says, come before his presence with singing. So no matter where you are, can I tell you this as a matter of thanksgiving? Here's the one thing I want to tell you. Watch this. Now, when we talk about this singing, it means to ring out or cry out in joy. Mm. So no matter what your circumstance, know this, you can never escape his face, but you can always choose to give him praise. Watch this. Oh, hallelujah. And watch this. And the psalmist goes even further because my time is running very quickly. The psalmist goes even further and says, here's the reason why you can praise him. First of all, know ye that the Lord, he is God. He's God. So if he's God, then Lord, whoever, whatever I'm dealing with today, you're the God of that. You're the God of God. You're the God over my family issue. 
You're the God over my own slackness in my own life. You're the God of my salvation. You're the God of everything. There's nothing that escapes you. You're the God of that fool that's attacking me. You're the God of my no good dad and my no good mama. You're the God. In other words, he is sovereign. And because he is sovereign, he knows where we are and what we're dealing with. And we don't listen. We can find joy in praising the fact that, listen, I may have messed up. I may not have done all I want to do, but my God is God. God, he's still God. He is still going to be who he is regardless of the earth's conduct. And then watch this. And he says this. Here it is. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are, the, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. He says, watch this. You cannot ever escape his presence. Don't just praise God when you go to church. Don't just give God thanksgiving. Watch this. Mm, I got to get to this quickly. I only got a few more minutes and I got to get to work. I can't even get this out the way I want to get it out. I got to get to work. Watch this. He says, he says, the psalmist says, these are the reasons why you can praise him. He's God. He's made us and not we ourselves. Listen, can I tell you this? Aren't you glad you didn't make you? Because if you made you, you'd have to heal you. You'd have to deliver you. You'd have to take care of you. And this is where we got to understand the sovereignty of God. Listen, that job you have is because he gave it to you. Those hours you work is because he lets you give them. He gives you the power to get wealth. Those children you have, he gave them to you. Watch this. You're no good mama and you're no good daddy. They may not have been no good, but they got you here. They got you here. They got you here. They got, let me say it again. They got you here. There'd be no life without their seed. We got to understand that now. We got to understand that. They may have abandoned you, abused you. They may, have, they may have let you down totally, but they got you here. Find the seed of thanksgiving in every situation. Thank them at least. Oh, God, I wish I could say it the way I feel it. I, oh, God, I'm going to say it. I'm bold enough, and I can say it because I'm bold enough. Thank them at least for their seed. And I'm going to say male seed and female seed. Thank them for their seed if you can't thank them for nothing else. Then listen, it's always present. And because you are alive, you have an opportunity to show him thanksgiving. Listen, dry your tears and praise him. Dry your tears and pray. Let your tears be tears of joy. Lord, I thank you. 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 Watch this. Enter and watch this now. This, this Once again, we try to lock this in the church. We try to lock this in the church. Watch this. It says, watch this. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Watch this. What does it mean? It means it means the assembly. It does. It means a public meeting. It means the marketplace. It means the temple. It means the castle. Watch this. But understand this. The gates are also seats of authority. Now let me ask you this. You're never, you're never away from his presence because his face is always there. And you're never away from his authority because like, like the psalmist just said, the Lord, he is God. He's always in charge. So no matter what's happening in my life, watch this. I got to check me and see where he is. Oh God, I got to check me and get myself in the right place because you can never get beyond his authority. Watch this. The gates represent the entrance, the entrance to a public place or his presence or the tabernacle or the courts. Watch this. And when you talk about his courts, it, watch this. It's, it's not just it's not just about the building. It's villages. It's towns. It's wherever you are. Listen, where, wherever you are, every listen, every day is a day of Thanksgiving every day because you can never escape his presence. You can never escape dwelling. He's good just because he's made us. Watch the psalmist says, watch this. You ought to praise him and be thankful. Praise him and be thankful and bless his name. Watch this. When we talk about blessing his name, this word means, it comes to the word Barak. Barak. And what it means is to, to bless or to kneel before him, to, to, to give a salute to him, to put him in his proper place. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't exalt anyone above God. In every circumstance, know that your father is present. I don't care if you're behind prison walls. It's giving that you can give to him. I don't care what your circumstances is. We were, we were looking, and Mother Maud's on the line. Let me go ahead and give you this update. We were seeing, watching the video yesterday of baby Alana Starr. Man, Alana, they, they, listen, her mom was rolling her out, making her walk 
off of the of the of the cancer unit, the HLH unit. And you know what one of the things that they do in celebration is they ring a bell. Ding 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 ding. And what it means is that person, oh my God, I'm about to break. It means they have overcome this battle of cancer in that moment and they are at a place of healing where they can be released from the hospital. And, and one of the things that happened was as she was coming, rolling through, as young as she is at seven, probably seven or eight months old, she couldn't ring the bell. But watch this. Her mom was able to reach up and grab a hold of that bell and ring the bell for her baby's release. Let me tell you something. If you won't praise God for you, Praise God for someone else's release. Praise God that he brought someone else through. But listen, but find a way to give thanksgiving. A corridor of nurses and doctors and, and probably anesthetists and people who were, who were attendants to her on that ward. A whole line of people line the hallway as they come through and they celebrate together her deliverance. And I'm saying to you, I want I I today in Thanksgiving, watch this, want to celebrate with you. I want to say bless God for you. I want to thank God for you. I want to tell you, listen, there's no storm that's too hard for him. There's no situation that's too difficult for him. He is a miracle working. He ain't still nothing. He is a miracle working God. He is a very present help in a time of trouble. He is the God of your salvation. He is your healer. He is your deliver deliverer. He is Jehovah Jireh, your provider. He is Jehovah Shalom, your peace. He is Jehovah Sid Kanu, your holiness. He is Jehovah Shama, a very present help in a time of trouble. He is your God. He's the God of your salvation. Find a way to thank him. Even through your pain, disappointments, even through your failures, he doesn't just give you a second chance. He's the God of another chance and another chance and another chance and another chance. He's long suffering towards you. He kept you through your foolishness. He kept you through your craziness. He didn't let the bullet hit your heart. It just took out your shoulder. So what if your arm is limp? You're still living. You alive. Give him thanks today. It's 6.30. I've got to go. I love you. Listen, listen. I call number for the day. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Praise is a weapon of yours. It will free you so much. Get your focus right. See, when you start praising up, you focus up. You, you get beyond your local circumstances. So watch this. Can I tell you today? I want you to watch. <laughs> I want you to be thankful. Give God glory. Enter into, into his presence with singing. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter into his courts with praise. Watch this. He is, you watch this. It is, it is in him that we live and move and have our being. If you are in Christ, you are in a moment of praise. If you are in Christ, you are in a moment of thanksgiving. If you are in Christ, See, we, we got to get beyond this physical dwelling. I'm not waiting to get to church to praise God. I'm not waiting to find a bunch of folk to praise God. You got to get a praise all by your lonesome. There's a praise in you. I don't care what the circumstance is. Okay, how difficult it is. Listen, if you start to praise him, he'll get bigger in your vision. Oh, God, I got to go. I got to stop. I, sh I sure feel like preaching. 2206, 2206-712-775-7099. 712-775-7099. Um, access code 789111. Then in your reference of 2206, or you can go to the Impact app, pick it up in, in our um, Inspire AM section or the iVideo section. Mother Maud is going to pray now. Minister Cody is going to pray now for our callers that are on the line to our faith. Let's be encouraged. Let's be lifted. Let's go manifest. A great day is awaiting your arrival. And you have a set and appointed place of praise today. Go give God thanks today for the very fact that you're alive to make a difference. God bless you. And we praise God for you. Mother, would you pray for us? Thank you, Lord God. Father, we come to you.